Taz. Sit. Good boy, there we go. I just had 21 seconds worth of sake. I think it's spray. Oh, uh, never mind, it was actually real sake. Body like you do, you do. Alright, I know I keep saying that song, but leave me alone. My god, 41 episodes into this, we are almost done with Project 50. The agenda for today is gonna be something a little different. If you guys watched yesterday's episode, you guys would be caught up already, but today's video is all about Taz. I'm very excited. We're gonna head to the mall first. Scratch that, we have to move. I went on the wrong side of the f***ing building. <laughs> Alright, negative. I'm trying to find like the right like leash for him. I'm trying to match his collar. Do yourself, I don't wanna... Alright, we'll hit up for the one time. Now I can't keep you from loving him. You made up your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. I am going to uh, grab Taz now. I got this leash. Come on. There we go. Jesus. And just because we're decent human beings, yes, I'm talking to the people that don't pick up the poop after they're done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we got this. We got uh, we got a little fire hydrant. Perfect. Looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna go grab Taz now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Taz has been acquired. He already peed everywhere out there, so there shouldn't be any worries of me being able to, me, of him peeing in the car. The goal right now, he has this thing where he's kind of leash aggressive a little bit. I think I kind of told you guys about that yesterday, but I'm, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but he's a little leash aggressive. So whether or not I own him or someone else owns him, I still want to try to help like alleviate that a little bit. Uh, I just don't want him to be leash aggressive. You know what I mean? I'm going to make sure he potties. Good boy. Now please don't sh- Why, do you want to be in the front? You can be in the front. There we go. Let's get moving. Okay, you're going to go in the back instead. All right, fair enough. His poop definitely was not desirable, so I just uh, wasn't going to show that. All right, Taz, we got about a 15-minute ride home, okay? Are you able to hold it in? My car's whining about not having a seatbelt on. Little do they know, it is the big tag. What are you doing back there? We're going to go home. We're going to give you a nice walk. We're going to train you a little bit so that you don't, you know, you're not as, like, aggressive. So a little backstory with Taz is that they were living in an apartment, so I guess having a big dog probably wasn't the best idea. I'm not entirely sure as to, like, the main reason why they're like getting rid of them but one of the reasons was because they're moving to a new house which the only like thing that i could think of is that if they're renting the house and they don't allow pets i just think it's interesting he's being a good boy okay now he's laying down that is so cute now you're gonna go in the front fair enough oh that is so cute now he's laying down in the front oh my god seems like he can't find like the right spot to sleep on so this is where it starts i got home and i started walking taz it was definitely a huge change for him i think he's never been taken for a walk before he just started growling away whatever he saw. I don't know. All right. Hey, it's just a dog. It's just a dog. He has this weird tendency that when he's on a leash, he thinks he's like tough guy. So he just drags you. He kept trying to pull me. So my goal was to like tell him not to because that's that's wrong. I'm walking you not. You're not walking me. He could just be really excited, but it's still a no, no. You be a good boy? Nope. Hey, easy on the pace, boy. The cool thing is, though, after a while, he is actually, like, slowing down. Like, whenever I walk, he walks. He was slowly adjusting. W's. Easy, boy. Easy. Easy. Nope. Easy. Hey. I'm walking you, boy. Take it easy. Yeah. There. See? Look at that. I like that pace. Yeah. Good boy. And then he saw a neighbor's dog. This is exactly what I mean by leash aggression. That's <laughs> He sees another dog. It's all right. You gotta let him know you're Taz, yeah? Yeah, this is exactly where I really want to help Taz before he gets, like, adopted by someone else. From the looks of it, it looks like he's really never been out. Like, I don't think anyone's really taken him for a walk because even if I, like, how do I explain this? Pretend like you're the dog. I got the leash right here. If I'm, like, holding it like this, it's kind of awkward, so I have to put, like, my feet over it like that. You know, just kind of, like, do one of those. He gets really terrified. I'm, I'm not even, like, trying to be aggressive to him. Like, I'm just trying to, like... <laughs> untangle myself you know what i mean and when he saw another person he like freaked out as well like, he started like bolting like i was making a little bit of progress where like he wasn't dragging me but then as soon as he saw a person he bolted there's a lot of things that he could definitely work on and i'm glad that i can help well so far so good all right i'm gonna do a little bit more with him uh just kind of doing some practice i don't really want to carry the camera around so much we'll move on to when when we're ready to do some other stuff i guess Right now, we're just going to keep walking him. And a little practice we did. As I mentioned, over time, he started to just not drag as much. Like, every time I walk, he walks. Like, every time I take two steps, he takes two steps. It's, it was great. And then it came to him coming to the backyard. I didn't record any of it because I didn't have my camera with me at the time. But we let Riley out to kind of, you know, check him out and stuff and see how he does. 
Taz did not do well. He just kept constantly barking, barking, barking like he was going to attack Riley. Loki kind of scary, but I know what Taz is capable of and I, I know he's not going to do anything, but we just didn't want to take the risk. We just decided that it wasn't like the best idea, especially since before Riley came out, like Taz was sniffing the backyard and everything and he knows that it's Riley's property. And when he saw Riley, he was still barking. So not the greatest idea, unfortunately. Big sad. Sit. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Taz, sit. You remember how to sit. He's like, oh, bro, why, why am I sitting so much, bro? I'm not entirely sure how to teach him not to, like, bark at other dogs. Part of the leash aggression thing, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to, like, train him not to do that. But I'm going to do some Google searching, ask some people. Because I, I watch dogs, but I'm not a dog trainer. He is a very cuddly dog. He's got a pretty strong bark, too. We'll definitely find you a new home, buddy. He just needs a little work. Just burp. I'm gonna take him back to the daycare now. I think he's had enough. I don't think it'd be a good idea yet to even put him into the house. I don't think he'd like it at all. So we'll stick with that for now, just to kind of train him a little bit. I think I mentioned this, but if, even if we don't keep him, like um, I still do want to help train him just so he's not so like crazy. You'd probably see him in the back. All right, well, time to say goodbye to you, Taz. Hope you enjoy your time, Taz. I'm gonna drop him off now. Say bye to Taz, everyone. I'm sick again. Quick little talk about Elimination Chamber real quick. I was just watching it with my parents and um, fun event, but I mean, I kind of knew all the results already. I knew Becky Lynch was going to win it. I knew Drew was going to win it. And I knew freaking what's her name? Uh, Rhea Ripley was going to win it. What are the other matches? Oh yeah, the tag team match happened too. Yeah, I knew Finn Balor and freaking Damon were going to keep it. Fun event, but it was all predictable. It is what it is. I'm tired. I'm going to edit this video quote to bed. Have a good night.